Hi guys, my name is Jazz. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we're starting off a little bit different today. We're going to do a little New York City shopping vlog. It won't be long, hopefully, um, but I want to go down to the city. I'll probably go to Soho. It's just I feel like it's just easier and all the stores I like are down in Soho. I was thinking about going to um, 34th Street. I can't think of the name of the mall. Well, I can't think of the mall. But I love that mall, but then, you know, I want to drive. I don't want to get on the train. Like, so I feel like it's so much easier for me to get to Soho. But I want to do that today. Um, I have, my birthday is coming up. So, hey, Geminis, if you're a Gemini. But I need shoes. I have two returns from Zara. I actually bought, I put it by my front door, but I actually bought, like, this metallic skirt um, that I probably showed you guys in my last video. And I can't even get that thing over my, like, thighs. And then Zara, like, I have this shirt and you know how Zara always has like no opening for you to actually get your head through it's just I'm returning that too so I have returns at Zara I want to go to the Frankie shop because you know I like going there in store rather than shopping online Zara um, I want to go to Steve Madden I need shoes Bloomingdale's um, maybe a vintage store that I wanted to go to but we'll see what the day holds so let's do that um, and let's go so this is my outfit of the day I'm wearing just like my denim maxi skirt from Zara Ooh, I just unbuttoned it but um, it buttons this way denim jacket from H&M bought the Gucci out and I have these cute denim converses I don't think I ever share these with you guys but they're so cute they're just right on trend and I just want to be comfortable when I go down town because I'm gonna be walking and then I'll add my Laura Bay Sunny since my makeup is very almost nothing today I just put on a little bit of like the elf glow stuff and some brows and concealer so, this is my outfit. So, I made it to Soho. And I thought I was doing something by getting down here a little early, because every time I do like one of these vlogs, I usually get down to the city like, like three o'clock, four o'clock. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get up. It's 11.30, I'm gonna be the first one down. Not first one, but like, it'll be chill and it's like packed. Down the street in Soho, they have like, there was like this long line. They have this Innisfree slash Laneige like truck. I was like, oh, maybe I'll do that. I was like, the line is way too long. So I'm gonna go to Zara first um, since that's like the most packed. Um, I think I wanna go to St. Laurent too, because you know, it's my birthday. I need to get myself a little gift, so. Let's go. Let's just try and hit these streets before they get way too packed more than it already is. freaking trench coat I don't need any more cargos but these are really cute so cute these are all the things I keep saying I don't need any more denim but I keep looking at more denim like I don't understand these are the pants these were too and we were sold out. These are the parachute pants that I showed you guys. I just left Zara and I had to come back to my car to retreat. I was in there for like a long time, so 
I know like always every Zara, I'm sure wherever you live is always crowded like on Saturdays especially with returns but the stuff I got I'll probably show you guys when I get home but I didn't even try it on I was like I'm not waiting in a fitting room line and a checkout line I can't actually get my protein shake from my car because I need to power up after that but um they had cute stuff a lot of denim a lot of like the metallic trend that I saw uh, showed you guys before in my other video I bought the metallic skirt that I went to exchange but they also have it in dress form but that thing looked like it had no give um so if I find it online I will link it let me get my protein shake and let's go I don't even know where I want to go next because that was just so I'm a little frazzled I'll be honest <laughs> Let's go maybe to Bloomingdale's. Oh no, they actually have a shoot store. I really came down here because I need shoes bad. Um, I just feel like it's hard to find affordable, like good shoes. So I want to try Shuts and I want to try, I want to see if there's a Steve. I think the Steve Madden's down the block, so I'll try that too. So let's go. That store was actually a brand new store. It was like grand opening. They were giving out peanuts, but it was really, really crowded in there. Like people, like were waiting for other people, like lounging around by the actual shoes. Like, like I can't see the shoes. Just sitting down by the shoes. So I'll try. I'll probably go back. Um, just it was a little crazy in there to see. But at first glance, I didn't see anything. So we'll probably go back. I don't know where we're going now. Now we're just walking and just seeing. Like you know how you get down here, and I'm like, I don't even know. What did I say I wanted to go? <laughs> oh, I forgot, I got a little distracted, but um, maybe we'll try Mango. I haven't been there in a while. Um, Mango, I'll probably walk to the Frankie shop and see what's down like the other side streets and stuff. Oh. Mango. That blazer was so cute. It was $1.99. I didn't get it because it's just like not what I <laughs> came for or what I need right now. So right now I'm on my way to Second Street. It was just kind of like a um, secondhand vintage. Um, I haven't gone vintage shopping like ever because I have no patience. So my friend told me it's really good. So I want to try that. Um, I'm going to go there first because the Frankie shop is about 20 minutes walking. So I'll do this first and then I'll show you guys when I get there. Perfect.
so I'm just leaving Bloomies. Sorry, the camera's so close, but those Givenchy glasses are amazing. I think I'm gonna go back and get them. You know how you go shopping, you're like, okay, let me see what else I find before I pull the plug on those, but they're perfect. I was looking at a similar pair of glasses like that from St. Laurent. That's why I kind of wanted to go in the store because those glasses are expensive. <laughs> I like looked online to see if I could find like a deal somewhere and I cannot, but I really, really love them. They're kind of what I've been looking for. So I'll try St. Laurent to see if they have them just so I can see the other ones because the St. Laurent ones I found online and they were a little bit cheaper. Then you gotta save somewhere. So I kind of want to go there. I still haven't gone to the Frankie shop. Time is just flying. So I'm gonna go down Spring Street where there's Cost. I think St. Lamont's down that way. And then Frankie shop and then I'm probably gonna wrap it up. I was walking to, I'm walking to St. Laurent and I saw like, in Soho you'll see people like selling glasses or artwork and I saw this guy was selling glasses. He wouldn't allow me to video record. And I found these reflective lenses, just like the, almost like the Givenchy, they're almost even better. I feel like that was God just trying to humble, humble me, like you're not paying $600 for sunglasses. So I'm gonna get some cash and go back and get those and I'll show them to you when, I, I'll show them to you when I get in, in the car. I was like, yeah, <laughs> he shut that down real quick. They didn't have my size, so I wanted to try them on. Um, you guys saw the YSL um, logo glasses. Love them, but I don't want to pay a thousand for them. And the other metallic glasses that I liked, I actually wanted those, and I'm glad I was able to try them in person because in person I'm like, ah, oh, not so much. <laughs> Let's go get cash so I can go get the affordable street glasses and go to Frankie Shop and then call it, you know, a day. Um, but of course, the store in St. Lamar is gorgeous, stunning. It makes you want to buy everything. Like it's just a stunning store. And I didn't want to record so much because I didn't want to be that person. Um, and they're recording so much, but those shoes I need. So back in my car, gonna head home and I'll show you what I got from Zara. I didn't get anything else. I feel like finding like affordable, like good shoes is really hard. Um, like really hard. Um, I didn't end up getting those shoes from Steve Madden. I just thought they were okay. Um, I went to the Frankie shop. I tried that suit on and I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I knew my parking was about to expire. So I was like, I had to rush and leave. Um, so yeah, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna show about that. And I wanted to get the boxy white t-shirt, but then they had a medium that looked too big. Um, they do have two locations in the Frankie shop now. They have the one on Crosby and the one on Stanton. The one on Stanton, um, I don't like to drive there because there's no parking. You know, I'm the New York City, like to do things but drive kind of thing. So I didn't get this. I'm gonna show you the guys the glasses now that I'm in the car. But I was also thinking of this I wanted to talk about. So. I used to work retail, like hardcore retail, like Juicy Couture, um, all the things that don't exist now, like DKNY jeans, I worked at like Lacoste. I am like a hardcore retail worker. And um, sometimes like in Soho, there are all these luxury stores that I wanna go into. And not that I feel like, oh, I shouldn't be allowed in there, but sometimes you have that moment of guilt or feeling like you don't belong. Like, oh, I'm not gonna really buy anything, so I don't wanna go in. Because it's the old retail me thinking like, who, why is this person coming in here wasting time? But I'm like, no, like, I'm glad I went to St. Laurent because it's something that I was looking for and I'm gonna go into more luxury stores more often. Like, I deserve to be there. Yes, I may not buy or I may buy, but you never know, like, I deserve to be there too. So, <laughs> go in the luxury stores. Don't care what nobody says or what anybody thinks, even if you don't plan on buying anything. So let me show you guys the glasses. I'm trying to put this on my dashboard. 
Um, so God stopped me, gave me an affordable option. <clears throat> like, are you kidding? Like, even better. <laughs> Fabulous, $15, I can't link them because. So yeah, okay. Sorry, my camera cut off, my camera got full. But how awesome. So they're nice and big and I can deal with this for now and like I think about the G-Bow Shitty. Of course this is like dramatic and over the top, but I love them, $15, can't link them, I'm so sorry, but I got them off the street. So cute, so I'll catch up back with you guys when I get home to show you all the things that I got from Zara. A few things, but, and I wanna link them before they sell out. So these are the pants, the cargo jeans from Zara. They're actually really big. Um, I'm probably gonna return them. I didn't think they would be this big. And even if they were smaller, I just don't need. Hmm. Yeah, don't know about these. Definitely gonna return. <laughs> they're humongous, they're like sliding off. These are size eight, so that's good to know if you thought about buying these. And this is the metallic skirt. So this is a large, which I think is like really, really cute. Like, this would be so cute. Like styled up, I love it. So I guess you have to go up two sizes if you do want to get this. And of course I will link it down below. Hi guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I showed you guys the two things I got from Zara. The pants are freaking humongous. I just, I was just so frustrated. I should have tried them on. Usually I go up a size in Zara. So the pants are an eight and they're huge. So if you want those cargo jeans, I guess get your normal size or go down a size even because they're humongous. Um, you guys know that I got these shoes I tried on in store. They're just so cute. I just thought they were the perfect gold. Um, sandal and they're comfortable and I feel like I don't I need these in my wardrobe because my other gold strappy uh, shoes are they hurt and then the other oh excuse me the other metallic ones I have from I think they're I forget what they maybe Mark Fisher they're just a different shade of gold so I thought these were cool and that's all I got it seems like I was in there forever and I got those three things but hope you enjoyed the vlog um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll see you guys next time Bye.